look at the battery life of the new 2010 MacBook Pro. I'm using the 13-inch uh, version, which Apple has promised to have a battery life of 10 hours. So as you can see, my battery is fully charged and is currently plugged in. Okay, um, my brightness is set to maximum. And the keyboard lights are also set to max. So can the new MacBook Pro really hit 10 hours? Let's find out. Um, first, I'm going to pull the plug. There you go. So when I pull the plug, the MacBook Pro automatically reduces brightness by about a third, which you can customize in the preferences. When I click on the battery icon, it's still calculating how much time is remaining. I'll give it uh, a few seconds. As you can see, it has 4 hours and 33 minutes remaining, which is a pretty far cry from the 10 hour promise of Apple. So I'm gonna cut down, a little fast forward there, cut down the brightness to 25%. Apologies for the dark screen. So as you can see, I'm only running. I'm not running any application actually, it's only the Finder, which is the uh, standard um, Explorer application. So Bluetooth is off. So with a dark screen, no applications running, Bluetooth off, that's when you get 10 hours, 20 minutes remaining. So now I'll put on Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is now running. Why did I do that? Because, well, you have 10 hours, but if you can't do anything, it's, it's useless, right? So coming from 10 hours and 20 minutes and nothing running, I put on Wi-Fi, or as Apple call, calls it, airport. I also open Safari, which is the web browser of the MacBook. Now I'm just gonna browse, browse a little bit through some websites. Okay. So at less than one third brightness, screen brightness, with nothing on except uh, Wi-Fi connected and Safari, let's see how much battery life we get from the 10 hours, 20 minutes. So the 10 hours, 20 minutes went down to 8 hours, 54 minutes. Still not too bad, roughly 9 hours. So it seems the, the 10 hour claim of Apple is a bit hard to sustain. So now I'll uh, totally remove my uh, keyboard light, it's set to zero. I'll further reduce the screen brightness to now only 3 bars, which is about less than 20%. And the effect is it increased my um, battery power to 9 hours and 25 minutes. 9 hours and 25 minutes. So again, um, the 10 hours is possible but it will require a dark screen, no keyboard light, and basically not doing anything. When you actually do the barest of functions, in this case, turn on uh, Wi-Fi, and maybe do a little bit of uh, web browsing through Safari, the 10 hours drops to a little bit over nine hours. So here it is, it's, uh, it's sticking consistently to nine hours with this setup. So yes, the claim of Apple is not so far-fetched. With just a darker screen, and if all you're going to do is browse the internet through Wi-Fi, you can get uh, some solid battery time here. And uh, it may end up being less than 9 hours, depending on the sites you surf. 
the nine hours will definitely drain much faster and, and you'll end up with a lesser time but still I find the battery here to be much better than on laptops with similar power as the 2010 13 inch MacBook Pro definitely a worthy laptop to consider for portable usage.